in this question so given that s is a set of real numbers such that the real number is greater than 0 and x satisfies this equation 2 times mod root x minus 3 mod plus root x times root, root x minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. That means s contains the positive values of x which satisfies this equation. So let us try to solve this equation so that you can get some idea of s. So in this equation I will put let root x is equal to t. So 2 times mod of t minus 3 plus t times t minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. So you have mod of t minus 3. So let us solve it in two cases. First case t greater than or equal to 3. Second case t less than 3. When t is greater than or equal to 3, mod of t minus 3 can be written as directly 3 minus 3. Plus t square minus 60 plus 6 is equal to 0. So 2t minus 6 plus t square minus 60 plus 6 is equal to 0. Minus 6 and plus 6 gets cancelled. So t square minus 4t is equal to 0, t times t minus 4 is equal to 0, t is equal to 0 or 4. So I am solving this one, t is greater than or equal to 3, or t is equal to 0 or 4. So obviously 0 doesn't work. So the answer is one of the solution is t is equal to 4. So if go to this. If t is less than 3, mod of t minus 3 is 3 minus t. Mod of t minus 3 is 3 minus t. So 2 times 3 minus t plus t square minus 60 plus 6 is equal to 0. So t square minus 60 minus 2t is minus 80 plus 6 plus 6 is plus 12 is equal to 0. So this is 6 2 z. So t minus 6 times t minus 2 is equal to 0, t is equal to 2 or 6. So you have solved this when t is less than 3. So 6 doesn't work. So t is equal to 2 is one more answer. So if t is equal to 4, that means root x is equal to 4, x has to be equal to 16. Uh, root x is equal to 2, x has to be equal to 4. So you have only two values of x which satisfies this equation. Both are positive. Both are positive. So x has exactly two elements is the answer to this question. Thank you.